cats dressed up as cats make it extra creepy. Oh, come here. We can't see you. <laughs> there, there you go. Is it... What a uh, face. You have, like, a cat invasion going on here? Well, there's a third one, but she's ran off. I pissed her off. Yeah, we're just going to get the feedback we've received. Now that we got Sean in here, we just need to have me drive a dog over to Lucas so we can just have Animal Day and really piss off Keen. Yeah. We, we, had, uh, we, we had some hermit crabs for a while, but uh, they're, we're, we're currently do not have any animals in the household. We're getting comments, man. Somebody we said, are live. What I'm actually YouTube looking started. at us. You have to read yeah. the comments. So, yeah, and apparently we're going to do Supreme Class Cheetor, so. <laughs> All right. Only if uh, Don signs that. it. So, yeah, See? we are Toads talking about Refractor today, who is symbolized by this man, because my other ones are half folded <clears> into boxes at this point. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Sean, your wife says you're live. No, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> she, is, she is our only viewer. By the way, no, there, there are. That's actually not true. Right now. A lot. How many? How many? Thousands. See, Sean, Sean, no. How many? How many, the, Lucas? This is why we don't invite Lucas, you on the how, show, Sean. How many are we? Seven. I think we're at five. I think I don't know. Oh well, that's not the top. Seven was our top, wasn't it? Five million viewers right now are watching you question their existence, Sean. Yeah. We're yeah, just, Sean's showing a good part of the figure. He showed off the box. The box is dude, actually pretty cool. The, the box, box is really cool. Basically. Yeah. But and, the problem with the box is you can't really see inside too good unless you like shine a light in there. And it's but it's really cool. It comes packaged yeah. in alt mode. But according to Jim Black, they are put together backward of what they should be. Yeah, I'll do that now while we're talking. About yes, it. But, uh, do that I, now. I, I think it's Can you show the instructions too, Sean? Do you have them handy? I do have them handy. They're right here at the top of the box. Because <laughs> I, I know we don't normally do packaging reviews on this, but the instructions in this box were probably my favorite instructions I've seen in a really long time. Uh, they actually contain story elements and uh, cool pictures. Like They're now explaining that all the back-of-the-box art for Siege is taken by Reflector as like spy footage. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's telling you how to like take good spy photos. So, so Dakota says he's excited for his Meloway refractor from Entertainment Earth. So, uh, how many Transformers points did you have to turn in for that, Dakota? You know, technically, each one of these are Meloway refractors. We yeah, gave I... them we gave them That's our true. points, which was money, currency, and they mailed us a refractor and a gift set, which is as close to G one as we're gonna get. Yeah, it's just like the experience of childhood. My, no, I never had that experience as childhood. I was too young. I'm, I'm only 23. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot. I, I forget you dropped like 12 years recently. <laughs> Mentally. Per so, chance. Per chance. So, wasn't so, yes, talking about the figure. Or figures. Um, I, I was going to say, wasn't this uh, figure supposed to be an exclusive to, like, Hascon or something? That's what we've heard. That's that was That's the rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. But. It, but yeah, that was the rumor. It's supposed to be, this was supposed to be an exclusive, and uh, what else? There was a couple other things. Basically, I mean, I, the C, basically the selects, the, the black, the, uh, the shack wave. Oh, oh yeah, yeah I, I think that this would make a lot of sense if, if this was an exclusive, just because, or uh, like a Hascon exclusive or something, because they put a lot of effort into it between the box and the instructions and and just the figure in general. And I want to say the dichotomy really amuses me on the box because on one side we have this set, which is in this like super elaborate box, well made, well put together, all that cool stuff. And then on the other side, we have all these selects releases that come in a cardboard shoebox. And what is this thing? That's their rank insignia. Uh, they just put out a thing about what that means. Well, tell us. 
Tell us what this means. I don't know. You have to ask Peter. Peter, what is that? We'll wait for his comment. Everybody's wait. So I did this gym style. It looks the same to me. You know, I I hate to say it, but it looks a thousand times better to me because I got this like G1 Pierce bullcrap going on with this figure. Does it, does it look different? Yeah, you yeah. have more red. You do have more red. Okay, it's different now. Yeah. Uh, Spectra is now on the left. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah it's no, it more like the G1 camera. <laughs> it does. Okay. Put your really? parts on. That's pretty cool. Oh, put your parts on that, Lucas. Oh, put my parts on this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here anyway, on. the box is cool. Um, we all approve of it. And yeah. the um, instructions and whatnot. Christian's right. Like that's actually a lot of information and stuff. And um, I think what Lucas said before, this actually does feel like I've been. I wasn't around the last time there were really exclusives, right? Well, I mean, I was born and all that stuff, but like, I wasn't really buying high end, high end Hasbro stuff back then. I would never imagine that I would have ever been doing so. Um, and this has been the first exclusive that's actually been like premium feeling like nothing until this, like, you know, I've gotten, I've gotten most of the like Amazon exclusives and whatever else. But this is the first one that I actually have gotten. I'm like, ooh, this is a premium version of retail figure. This is kind of neat. So the the tan cardboard plain box didn't didn't scream premium to you? Not only that, but the figures themselves have not screamed premium to me. Like yeah. they just yeah. feel like they feel like normal repeats that I would buy at Walmart, which is fine. It's not that that's bad or anything. They haven't actually been marked up in price either. But this just makes me happy that got the premium tree makes I love it so here's yeah, what it looks I, like I, if you throw the flash and whatever the other extra part on there so that looks good it looks, yeah it looks it looks like it could go with either set i, I feel like this the like here. black this little part like looks out of place i don't know well it matches yeah. with the with the uh flash Sorry. yeah yeah, I agree with Anna. It seems like all the other selects have Ooh. been like retail releases that didn't find a home. Put the black a place in the wave, but uh, this one definitely feels very premium. Yeah. Put, put the black lens on on that, Lucas. Oh jeez. That might do it. That might that might just set it off. Put, put it put it over the top. Mm, put. Put your black, what is it, a telephoto lens? Put your black telephoto lens on the purple camera. Do it now for so me. So anyway, <laughs> the set is basically the same as getting three of the retail refractors, only getting all these cool accessories with it to make it look more like a camera in camera mode. And, you know, honestly, I never put mine... Well, I don't have three retail refractors, right? I only got one, and I use it as a gun for my um, Titans. Which was an excellent <clears> idea. But, yeah, it looks cool. I can actually look. Um, Trypticon's wearing it as, like, a, a wrist gun right now, and it looks fun. Um, mm. But this is my first experience with this camera mode, and it's also the camera mode kitted out a little bit with some extra accessories in a random Crimzeek. Um, too. So it's actually kind of a neat set. Like you get a bunch of things. What do you think, Lucas? Does that look better or more out of place? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, it still looks kind of weird. Yeah. So, um, but, you know, I don't think the black to, helps. Uh, I agree with Dakota. When he's talking about the, the selects or whatever that I do think the G2 Megs and the uh, Red Wing both, I, I think both of those look pretty premium. So, I mean, it depends on, on on which one we're talking about, but I do think there's a lot of paint on both of them. I don't yeah. have either one. I, I've handled the G2 Megatron, and he he's cool looking if you're into that, but he didn't really tickle my fancy. Yeah. I... I don't think that G2 Megatron looks premium. I mean, that's a lot of paint. I think it looks anti-premium. I didn't say it looks premium, but I thought it looked cool. 
I wouldn't, I, say, fine, I wouldn't say who is dripping with paint. Neither are these guys, but I, I think the thing that sets them apart as far as being premium is their one of a kind accessories and their you know, their nostalgia paint job. And the extra I mean, they, yeah, they, nostalgia paint job really does it. They they went I mean the the packaging but I mean there's there's a lot of paint on this though like I mean this guy like his chest has uh, different color paint there's silver silver paint on the legs there's silver paint down here or I'm sorry red paint down there there's like paint accents on the legs here like I mean this is just one figure and like all of these have different decos too which is I mean it's really cool like you know kind of yeah. harkening back to the um, to the G1 homage I mean. I don't know the fact that they had to do different different colors for all of these like plastics and stuff. I'm sure co probably costs extra, but like I mean, if you look at this, like the legs have like a silver paint on them, or I'm sorry, a blue like shiny paint on it. I don't know. I mean, I think that th this really feels premium to me. Com yeah, like the only thing I feel like they could have done that they didn't do for one reason or another is um fixing their heads and giving them um, toy heads instead of the cartoon heads. I mean, I'm definitely at least, for that. Yeah, I think there will be. But I mean, at least giving the middle fella his completely different type of head, um, I think would have been a good move just because it's a different type of head. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I feel like they did everything they could have done, except for the whole fact that said middle fella is actually the wrong color. Um, but you know... Other than that, I'll complain about that in a moment. How is he the wrong color? He's the wrong color. Like, you mean we're talking about the blues being inverted? Is that what you're referring to? We're talking about the middle blue not being purple like it should be. It's viewfinder. Anna, and that's, viewfinder. that's purple. I know. Are you are you colorblind? Because that is purple. Right, guys? No, nah, it's blue. No. Christian, come on. Nah, it's blue. Uh, you guys are supposed Sorry, to play man. along, make her things too oh. crazy. Oh, jeez. We don't like All right. Me. All right. Just me. She's our friend. I am the asshole. Yep, that's true. <laughs> but, like, just look at him side by side. Okay, that is not the same color. I don't care if some people want to tell me that the original is not purple and it's some sort of dark blue. Whatevs. Well, it, it is needs to be totally dark, not though. the same color. Yeah. They're not you even know. close. It is a little lighter, isn't it? Just a little bit. A little? I'm pretty passionate about he my looks, camera guy colors. Pretty close. looks pretty close. And, yeah, um, Catherine asked, are the head sculpts all identical? They are. Yep. Yeah, double-checked that. I, I didn't even notice, you know... Like the, uh, I haven't had the G1 toy of this for so long that I didn't notice that the head sculpts were not G1 toy accurate. No, they're not. At, at least Spectro gets a little bit away with it because his head is painted black, where the other twos are painted uh, like the same color as their chest and blend in. So Spectro looks a little bit better. But yeah, I honestly know. think that the the side guys are passable with the cartoon heads so, like that doesn't bother me as much as the the middle guy just having a completely different head on the toy they also have crimson mm -hmm. and i'm gonna need this crimson in like a billion different colors please <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing i love it so much it's way better than the masterpiece one that came with mpo5 that's the only other crimson i've had and it's just so cute. Look at him. Oh, no, it's super cool. I love the critique. But he's he's made of the same blast effect material we've been seeing. So it kind of makes sense for him to be here. And his and light piping is amazing. Like, like if, if you have a display where you could, like, you know, fish a little fiber optic or something up to him, like a little LED, put it right underneath him, he would just sit there and glow. And, like, it would really be like a talking point. Yeah, he's pretty great. I would definitely, definitely pay for a pack of other ones. I, I know you, probably no one else knows what I'm talking about here, but um, I collect Bionicle as well. And back in the Bionicle days, you could get mm -hmm. packs of 
they, they were squids that you could launch from a launcher. They were stupid. But anyway, they, they were clear plastic like this. You could get them all different colors. So you would buy a pack of squids to accessorize your figures yeah. and they'd all be all different colors. So I would buy like a pack of, it, it was like five, five of them you get in a pack, but uh, I would buy a pack of Crimzeeks. And Crimzeeks an all-new mold, right? Yes. Yeah. As far as I know. I mean, we got any Crimzeek before, so I was just curious. I mean, there was only one Crimzeek, though, right? It wasn't... There was never more... more. In the episode, there was a bunch of them. Was there? (laughs) Because I remember he got got huge, right? Yeah, they all combined together and made a huge one. I don't know why Crimzeek is with Reflector. They never appear together, but I'm glad Crimzeek is here nonetheless. Yeah, it and works. Maybe, I think maybe it's here because I willed it into being. Because <laughs> I always said that Crimzeek would represent the Flash from the Flash Cube. Oh, there you go. No I him to make it do it, so I don't know. He's just here. I love him, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the premium package. Just throwing, a, throwing in little, you know, little nods like that. I oh, that's cool, cream though. Cream cheek, cream cheek, cream cheek. Sorry. It's one of the yeah, weirdest that... episodes of G1 there ever was. Okay, so that episode for me, when I, I was a kid when I saw it, of course, because I was a kid at the time, but the first time it ever aired that I got to see it, there was something wrong with the station so wow. that the, um, the music was playing, but not the audio. So the background music played, but none of the vocals or sound effects. So it was just like this weird experience where I was watching this little electric guy torture Transformers with no explanation. And it was very strange for my like seven-year-old brain or whatever it was. Jeez. And it like kind of creeped me out and I like went crying to my mom about it. The Transformers was broken. <laughs> I don't think I had a very firm grasp of reality yet. But that broke it. Man, that could be traumatic. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I love Crimzeek. You okay. give me childhood trauma. It's great. Did we, did we cover it all? Did we get it all? There's the scale. Crimzeek to a ah, Crimson one-year-old <laughs> cat. cat. Yep, a one-year-old cat. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really all there is to this set, because we did talk about Refractor pretty extensively when the single figure came out. But Um, what if you aren't one of the five people that watched that one? Right, right, right. Well, Don't roll your eyes at me, Lucas. Five billion people (laughs) who watched that episode. (laughs) I guess I do have one critique, and it's uh, about this cover piece right here. When it changes into a shield, it's not great. Oh, I would dare what? to say it's piss that's, poor. I mean, that's it. <laughs> Are we to the point where I get to talk about critiques? Because... Yes. Okay, so I have the the Legend Size Reflector 2. I got it because I thought it looked pretty good, um, considering what was out before. And I've never been able to enjoy that figure because of all the little accessories that came with it, all the knives and guns and shields and all that nonsense. Like, it was just pointless to me, and it made them a different character, so I didn't like it. And I almost feel like this set borders on that a little bit because everyone has a shield and a gun, and I just like to display them so that you don't lose your stuff. You end up kidding them out with it. It just doesn't look right to me. They were always just like plain guys. I know it's a stupid complaint. I know it's silly because I can just take them off and put them in a bag behind them. Well, I think but that just doesn't look like a reflector dude to me. Viewfinder's thing is accurate because it goes on his shoulders and that. Yeah, that's fine. The, the I'm okay with that. Yeah, the other ones, I guess you're right. Although I, I've never handled a G1, I've never even looked at one really closely. It had extra stuff on it that you just had to lay to the side when they were robot mode, right? Yeah, yeah. So you could just do the same thing. Isn't that pretty much every single G1 figure? Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> Okay. And, uh, powerful like I said, it's a silly stuff. complaint. And it's all about the way I display them, right? Like, if I display them just like this, like if I just put him on the shelf beside his two friends, 
and leaving them without the accessories on, they look right to me. This looks like this looks like the evolution of my. Hold on, let me. Oops, he went to the floor. He'll have to come back now. Ugh. Okay. Um, you know, these guys feel like the same guy to me. Just <laughs> new, crappier version. Did you say newer and crappier version? Yeah, it's a running gag. <clears throat> when I first got it, I told Lucas I still thought the G1 was better, so I have to stand by it. <laughs> I have super childhood attachment to how your about, red flyer. How about G1 Wheeljack? No attachment. I never owned one. Good, because he can't even stand up. Jeez. Oh, yeah. But but yeah no that's what I always give Anna a hard time because you you say that you prefer the G1 one but like literally it is the only G1 toy that you could say that on like every other one you're like oh this is crap it has no articulation yada yada like you can tell it's a 30 year old toy and then like somehow you get to reflector and you're like oh no this is totally better just because I have my original one how about better? G1 no, drop the word you're looking for is perfect. Do you have G1 dropkick? Surprisingly, Something. no. Shocking. G1, G1 Alpha Bravo? Um, I'm, I'm waiting for the no. uh, the 3A version of that myself. Oh. I will say oh. the other reason that this version is better, even though he has one arm and it's not attached, is that... <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I guess it's just 35 years. Oh, I was a child. Oh. Yeah, you're right. And a teenager and an adult. This thing's been with me the whole time. Um, well, one thing this thing does better is that, you know, it actually has the lens for you to look through so that you can play camera with it. And that was, like, the coolest. I know that this this set is not being modeled or um, sold to four-year-olds. The, the original was sold to at least one four-year-old. Um However, that was such a fun thing about the original toy. It was running around pretending to take pictures. I think they could have made it work by making viewfinder translucent. It wouldn't. I think they exactly made it work too. You could, you could see through him. I, I, I can see you guys right now. I mean, I think it's close enough. Like, I don't know. Oh, I'm it's sure totally that yeah. Well, the other the other thing too is is you. Like, you legitimately don't have a camera now to use for real pictures. Like, if anything, your camera, you it would look like this. You know what I mean? Because this is your slab that, um, like, like my kids think this is the camera now. Yeah, this is a historic re recreation of a right, former right. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you can bring out like a rotary said. phone or something, too, and be like, oh, this is your phone. You're like, what are you talking about? I would have liked that too. It would have been cool. Even Perceptor from Titan's Return had a lens you can look through, so they they're stay, they were maintaining that forward through time. But yeah, I think I don't know. They could have done it by making viewfinder translucent, but then viewfinder be translucent by glass wouldn't have been. It would look weird. But I will say that the shields that the shields that go um that make the uh, giant lens doohickey those ones i think look fine on the individual figures like you can put them on them in several different ways they look fine but yeah that back armature thing that goes on the side um that just i cannot find a way to put that on my transformer that doesn't make him look stupid like you're talking this part flash cube looks fine but yeah that stuff. part yeah the, yeah the, yeah i will i will agree this you know does not look it looks weird that part so. screams afterthought, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks good for what it's supposed to do in this mode. Yeah, so. no, it it gives it more of a camera look. It's fine by me. Yeah. And again... And the flash tube could have transformed into something. Like you could have had a gun barrel come out of it if you flipped it down. But it's passable in robot mode, I think. Not great, but, you know, whatever. All right, guys, don't freak out right now. But if you if you flip this piece up, and you look right here and right here on either side of those hollow holes, you'll find cracks. 
in your clear plastic. On which one? Both of these so far. I'm gonna huh. try. I'm gonna try the center bot. Now we can all look and find imperfections. Say, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, I do see. Yep. And this, all three of them, they have a, a slight hairline crack going straight up. Yep. At the top edge of those holes. It's a production was that, like that, was that Was that like that? I wouldn't call the, uh, that a production. Oh, yeah. I would call that just a. Uh, it's like a scratch more than a it, does, does everybody have that? Yep. Yep. That is correct. Okay. Well. But the original the one sounded like that too. Well then, as uh, as it's Matthew as Matthew mold. says, Hell Hasbro. It looks like a scratch more than a crack. I, I'm not worried. about I it. don't. Yeah. Okay. I think it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it either. Yeah. I, I just yeah. it's just some it's just something I noticed that all three of them have. It's not. I wouldn't really call it if it was a scratch. Wouldn't it be here and there? It's it's not, just more not everywhere. It's just more battle damage, Sean. Oh, here we go. Well, no. <laughs> it's just a flaw. That's what These you're going to These have no get. battle damage. No. Which is good. Hasbro figures. These are supposed to be Siege and there's no battle damage. Um, good. I'm putting it up for sale. It does not follow the Siege line. That's good, Sean. Good. Yep. We're proud no of flaws. You. A set of three, no flaws. Aside from the built-in flaw. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Don't tell Don't anybody. Tell anybody. Don't no, but, okay, so, back to actually, like, pseudo-reviewing, like we usually get to eventually. Um, Aww. Like, I have, like, a million complaints about this set because I have this, like, incredible amount of nostalgia. Like, I don't think a little tower. a former toy that I have this much nostalgia for. So... That's the only reason I have these complaints, though. Like, otherwise, this is great. Like, this is really cool. See, see, that's what, like, I have nostalgia. Like, I really like the set, and I think it's, like, freaking fantastic. Like, I, I absolutely love this set. I love all the little, like, extra things that they, they did with it, like, for toy colors. And I think overall, like, I, I love this reflector overall. Like, I think that... Um, you know, I had the, you know, I've handled the make toys one I've handled, I've not handled fans toys. Um, but I, you know, the KFC one, and I, I just think this set is a lot more fun. It still has a ton of articulation, but it's fun to actually me like move them from each mode. And I love the fact that they integrated all of their weapons into the figures in both modes. So I, I don't know. I, I just, th this is by far my favorite reflector like i mean just overall this mold is my favorite reflector mold did you at any time when you were an actual child have the original no but i have i have it now and i had i you know it was one of the first g1 things that i like rebought whenever i got back into transformers because i thought it was really cool yeah i get that so. I just, the reason I ask that is I just feel like, I feel like if you have the nostalgia for it, like I do, you'll have the complaints, but you won't care about them, right? Like, you'll just overlook them because it's so cool to have another version of this toy after all this time. I've never had you on Reflector, and I like them a lot. I gotta figure out if I need this one and the show colors ones, but we'll see. Yeah, I definitely don't need the show colors ones, but um, they know, actually kind of—they did such a good job of differentiating this one that I I think yeah. that it's worth it. Like, I don't know the impactor is probably not going to be worth it, or like a few of the other ones, but like I think that. You know, I don't know. It's fun to uh, to troop build these guys, and they're you know these are completely different colors, but they did a great job with like both sets. Like I mean, I, they put a lot of paint on 
uh, on this one, like where it, it looks nice as well. But like yeah. this is this looks just like completely different. So I feel like I can have both. Or if you're someone who is like a masterpiece collector, like they no one has done toy colors yet for any of the you know we have like five hundred bizarre. Re- yeah, it's the it's the weirdest thing that we've gotten. What a perfect effect one. Uh, we've gotten perfect effect blood. did do toy colors. Yeah, so I guess I guess perfect effect back in the day. But the masterpiece ones between the three sets, we had what Make Toys, Fans Toys, and KFC all did theirs, and none of them did toy colors. So yeah, I think I'll probably end up keeping both sets, uh, mainly because in the show there was just three reflector dudes, and these guys are Spectre, Splyglass, and Viewfinder. They're actually characters, so I guess I'll probably end up with both. That works. I think I, I think that's how I'll do it. What What do you think, right. Sean? Are you Are you keeping <clears throat> both? Um, you know, in the instructions it says for him to hold this like so. I have not found a better way for him to hold it, but it gets in the way of his articulation. He cannot go out. That's the best you can do, and yes, it does. Um, no, I like them. They're they're good. Um, no regerts, so there's that. Would you keep both sets? That's what we've been asking. I have I have both sets and no regerts. All right. So, and I didn't I didn't go crazy and pay extra. I just found my uh, reflectors like any normal red blooded American would. Yeah, I would say that. Um, the the only one complaint I had about the mold originally was the arm articulation is a little weird at the shoulders. And that complaint's still there. I mean, the arms still don't pose great. And that really, does not look super good. I but really know because I'm with the extra shield pieces. Just, just trying to make the shield pieces go on there so that like it looks right. normal. I really noticed it this time. But because this is a sequel to this guy, whose mm. arms definitely do not even have elbows, um, I'm okay with it. Yep, I think it's a good update. It's faithful where it needs to be. It's innovative where it needs to be. Huh? And it's a, it's a good addition. You know, yeah, this cleans up easy. pretty good like this. I think that's how it is in the instructions. No, it is yeah. not, sir. Uh, not? That's how I did mine. But and then I recombined on, the camera mode for this yeah. show. On the shelf, it would be good like, like so. <laughs> Do you think that I, they'll actually reuse this mold for anything else? The only thing I could see is that they re-sculpt it a little bit to make it, but they won't because to make it into an upside down submarine. Yep, I think that's a good idea. I think Anna was onto something with that one. Because I do down, feel, so. I feel like the individual spaceship mode is absolutely, definitely, a hundred percent a gun. For Titans to hold. So I think a rebold, where he's an upside down submarine, would be great. So you could have a, a more <laughs> specific gun. It scales too perfectly. It looks really right in their hands. Uh, other than that, uh, if they wanted to make it be of some sort of truck, it could be a watchdog. Or, what are the watchdogs? I think they're cars. Shout out to the two people who know what I'm talking about. Watchdogs were like part of Shockwave's troops on Cybertron. They were in the same episode with the Rainmakers. They look like Reflector, but they turn into little cars. So maybe, vaguely maybe, I think Anna's thing is way more likely. Well, I just think it would be, wouldn't it be funny since the last time we got the Reflector as a um, convention exclusive, he was a like repaint of Shockwave. Three shockwaves. Yeah. If they made a shockwave version of this, that would be fantastic. I and think you're onto something. Like, it's a spaceship mode, but they make it just a little bit more like a gun. It'd be great. I might even great. buy it just because it would be cool. Even yeah, though I have a perfectly serviceable shockwave. Give me one in uh, Fort Max colors and Grand Max colors. Because those guys, those guys did not come with guns. 
nor did they come yeah. with upside down submarines. I take one of Metro Place fillers too, because he's the one who usually holds it for me. Mm. It's already mm-hmm. in Tripticon colors. Yeah. Close enough. Tripticon's little hands can't hold guns anyway. Yeah, but there's a way to put it on. You can put it on you his arm cannon. He's got little T Rex hands. No, you can do it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, that's neat. All right. Okay. He wears it as an arm thing. And then he shoots at Metroplex. Poor Metroplex. Yeah, it's 100% what it was intended for. Yeah, remolded is that, but better. It's already really good, but make it better. I, I agree. Lucas, why do I feel like you're sitting here judging us? Because <laughs> he's doing that. Because I am. Yes, how dare they have fun with their toys. No, I, I've been sitting here the whole show because my like software, somehow I figured it, it updated or whatever, and so my it, it, it looks weird. So I've been sitting there thinking about that for like half the show so you know being concentrating on that yeah yeah so i think i think what we're all saying is that we want upside down submarine reflector remold we want crimson packs uh this thing has flaws but overall we all kind of like it absolutely not even kind of i'm super happy like the second I put it back in camera mode and I'm looking at it and thinking about it with my baby brain, I am super excited again. That's awesome. If you if you had a rating of all of the selects, would you say <laughs> that... Number one. I mean, it ha- this has to be by far number one. Like, I would say this or Red Wing, right? Like, I would say... I mean, and I don't even think it's even close. It's Yeah, it's this and then Red Wing... Yeah. Uh, the hot shot. I probably put hot shot above Red Wing actually, but he's not out yet, so fine. Uh, Galactic Wave, Green Light, then Lancer. I mean, I guess if you're if you're talking like exclusives and you're throwing those in there, I guess maybe the I mean those are select Sky Warp. Well, like Sky Warp or whatever. That's not a select. No, though, that's not selects. Okay, so this. Slam Dance, Red Wing, Jesus Eyes Wipe, and Galactic Wave. Yeah, we Dakota says uh, the uh, Zatar, but we haven't gotten that yet. That's coming next week, right? It's coming tomorrow. Yeah. Mine should be here soon. Yeah, my, I think mine will be here in a couple of days. So, yeah, so we'll, okay. I guess we'll see. Then we can redo our rankings then but sure. as I think right what now, I like to rank is one. this as a set versus the power dash versus the set did you say Zatar, Zatar. what is it Z- yeah. is, is that Zatar. how you say it Zatar? I have no Zatar. clue Zatar. What this, I call it is Zatar. it a power ranger no Zetar is the drill power dasher oh I'm a yeah. bad Transformers fan yeah you are I don't know what that is yeah Zetar just, that was on another mellow way <laughs> You know, the only time I've ever seen the Power Dasher was in a Plasticon review, whenever he did those. That's the only time I've ever seen those. I've not, I haven't seen them in person. I haven't seen them oh, online. Man. I haven't seen them at people's collections. You know, nothing. I hope we figure out where Chromar is going to come from. Because that's the only one we don't know where it's getting released. Oh, yeah. <sighs> maybe he'll I be. I don't know maybe, what to do about that. Oh, yeah, you need to figure it out soon. Maybe, I do. I don't want that maybe, it's hot, maybe since Hotshot is at Entertainment Earth for an, New York Comic Con, since New York or since uh, Entertainment Earth did two at San Diego, maybe we'll do Cromar and Hotshot for New York. Possible. We'll All right, so I guess, are we out of juice? This is the end of Refractor. Refractor's great. Refractor's great. Definitely go get him. I am I am gonna get a sticker for you really well to get him. I was gonna say, how refractor. many of you would pay for a sticker just to fix this to just, say reflector? You know but he's not a reflector. Give me my what? toy heads upgrade kit with just a sticker that says that and I'll be good. What what are you talking about? He's not reflector, he's refractor. 
Yeah, the the stupid purple one that you bought is refractor. This is reflector. Mm. I'm good with that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so tomorrow night uh, we're gonna have out to my wallet. Uh, so Rob will be hosting that. Um, Rob. So uh, check that out at uh, nine o'clock Eastern, eight o'clock Central. Uh, and then Friday night, we're going to have another cut the tape, uh, episode from Rick. Uh, I'm not sure which, which one is going up. Um, and then, uh, and then yeah, on Sunday again. So, so yeah, we're, we're filling up the schedule here, um, quite a bit. And then there was also, um, uh, Paul had a new, uh, uh, show as well, that, uh, Transformers news, the TF talk weekly. Uh, that just got put up too. So check check that out. So we got a show. We're, we almost have a show for every night of the week. Yeah, enjoy it. We're busy people. So yeah, yeah, it's cra- crazy. So anyway, uh, I guess that's it. So I'll yeah, I think we're done. Here. Yep. So good to be everyone. here. See ya. Sweet dreams.